Hi, in this video, I am going to discuss about four types of thermodynamic processes. Isothermal process, adiabatic process, isochoric process and isobaric process. Let us start with isothermal process. In an isothermal process, pressure and volume changes at constant temperature. So, for an isothermal process, the temperature of the system is kept fixed, kept constant throughout. And in an isothermal process, there will be always heat transaction between system and surrounding. There is heat transaction or heat transfer or heat exchange between system and surrounding. And for heat exchange or heat transfer to happen the system and surrounding the boundary should be diathermic diathermic there should be good thermal contact between system and surrounding so the wall should be diathermic and there should be good thermal contact good thermal contact between system and surrounding Okay, now for an isothermal process, the process should be slow so that there is enough time for the heat transaction to take place between system and surrounding. Now, what is the equation of state of isothermal process? The equation of state for an ideal gas is PV is equal to RT and here since temperature is constant, this RHS is a constant, so the equation will be PV is a constant and this is said to be boiled slow. So that is the equation of state for an isothermal process. Now if you plot the indicator diagram here, the pressure and volume changes and P is equal to this will this pressure will be a constant by volume. So as pressure increases, volume decreases. So you will get a curve like this. Now if I put the arrow in this direction, this means this is isothermal expansion. Now an isothermal graph is said to be isotherm or this is also said to be isothermal or isotherm. Now if the process is isothermal compression then you have if arrow opposite direction then this will be isothermal compression okay so that's about isothermal process now let us discuss about adiabatic process <coughs> in an adiabatic process the pressure changes volume changes and temperature changes but here the entropy of the system will be a constant no change in entropy. Entropy S is constant in an isothermal, in an adiabatic process, sorry, in an adiabatic process. So adiabatic process is also said to be isoentropic process or isentropic process. Now second point, there is no heat exchange. No heat exchange in an adiabatic process. Whenever you hear the term adiabatic, remember there is no heat exchange between system and surrounding. So the walls of the container should be adiabatic. It should not be diathermic, adiabatic. And there should be thermal isolation, thermal isolation, thermally isolated. And the process should be fast. So, all point in the points in the opposite are adiabatic. Now, what about the equation of state? For an, the equation of state of an adiabatic process is PV raised to gamma is a constant. What is this gamma? This gamma is ratio of specific heat Cp by Cv, where, where Cp is the specific heat capacity at constant pressure and Cv is the specific heat capacity at constant volume okay now you can represent this equation in terms of volume and temperature and temperature and pressure 
we have the equation of state for an ideal gas as PV is equal to RT. So if I take pressure from here, then pressure will be equal to RT by V. Now let us substitute the pressure here in the above equation. So I have RT by V into V raised to gamma is some constant. Now R is a constant, so I can take this R to this RHS. So that means T V raised to gamma minus 1 is equal to some constant by R. That will give you a new constant. So T V raised to gamma minus 1 is a constant. Okay. Now similarly, you can make another substitution. Here I have substitute for substituted for pressure. Now I can substitute for volume also. So from this equation, if I do substitution for volume, then volume will be equal to RT by P. Okay. Now I will substitute this volume here in our equation. So pressure into RT by P whole raised to gamma is some constant. Now you have P R raised to gamma, T raised to gamma, P raised to minus gamma is some constant. So that means T raised to gamma, P raised to 1 minus gamma is some constant by R raised to gamma. But R raised to gamma is will be a constant. So you have T raised to gamma, P raised to 1 minus gamma is some constant. <coughs> so this is also equation of state of a diabetic process. Okay. So let me erase these two things. Now, what about isochoric process? An isochoric process is a process in which volume remains constant. Volume is a constant. Whereas here, the temperature can change, pressure can change, but volume will be a constant. So let us take an example. I am considering a cylinder and the cylinder is fitted with a piston and here you have some gas inside the cylinder and applying some heat here. Now if I apply some heat, of course the temperature inside will increase. Now as the temperature increases, the temperature will start to increase and the temperature will increase and also pressure will start to increase inside this cylinder. But if I am making this piston immovable, that is piston movable, what will happen? The volume will not change, but temperature will change and pressure will change. But work done will be zero because work done is equal to small work done delta W will be P delta V. If the change in volume is zero, if this term is zero, work done will be zero. <coughs> so that means in an isochoric process, the work done will be zero. So if I apply heat, then that heat will be completely used to change the internal energy here. It will not be used for doing work. The whole heat will be used to change internal energy. So this is, <coughs> so this is an example for an isochoric process. Now what about the equation of state? We have PV is equal to RT. And since for an isochoric process, volume is a constant. So since volume is constant, I can write down this equation as P by T is equal to R by V. Now R is universal gas constant, which is a constant. And volume is constant. So the RHS, these two are constant. So that means P by T is a constant. And this is the equation of state of a isochoric process. P by T is a constant. Now next process is isobaric process. An mm. isobaric process means that process is constant pressure process. Constant pressure process. The volume can change and temperature can change but pressure will not change. An example similar to our isochoric case can be considered. I have a piston and a cylinder system and now the piston is movable. Previously, this is this piston is immovable, but now this is movable. Again, I am adding some heat. Now, if I add some heat, temperature will increase. 
so pressure will start to increase but since piston is movable this piston will move to a further to a new position such that the pressure inside the cylinder will be a constant so njan ivada heat add eedu kazhinjal adinathu temperature increase eeyum temperature increase eeyum pressure increase eeyan thodangumbo piston movable aayathu kondu volume change eedu kondu volume increase eeyum such that pressure inside is a constant and such a process will be an example for isobaric process now what about the equation of state we have pv is equal to rt so v by t is equal to r by p now since pressure is a constant v by t is a constant is the equation of state for an isobaric process in a cyclic process after the process the system will come back to the initial stage so let us draw the pv diagram suppose the system is starting from a point a then after passing through a series of stages it come back to its initial state so the final state and initial state will be same now if you consider this 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 process the pressure volume temperature all these co coordinates will be same before and after process also internal energy and entropy internal energy and entropy are state variable state variable means its value depends upon only on the state of the system and not on the path followed so all these variables will be same for a cyclic process they will they will remain constant okay after the process the value will be same now let us discuss about another process type important type of process and that is reversible process reversible process let us consider a process in which system starts from a and it goes to another point b and let us take this is the forward direction now after the process now after the process by varying condition i can make this process proceed in the backward direction in the reverse direction also so by varying the condition the process can proceed in the reverse direction also and this process is reversible if all the changes occurred in the forward direction is exactly reversed in the corresponding part of the reverse process forward direction le happen cheyidappo undaya changes okke namaku tirichu from b to a backward direction le verumbo namaku tirichu kittuanengil that process will be reversible process okay enna nodu clear aaka if some heat is absorbed during the process if a process ab happen cheyidappo some heat absorb edengil during ba that much heat should be given out athrim heat reject cheyanam so if a process is happening like that manner then that process will be reversible process so what are the condition that is to be satisfied for a process to be reversible so the conditions are the first condition that process should be quasi static quasi static process and second condition there should not be any dissipative forces no dissipative forces should be present now what is an example for dissipative forces viscous force is an example another example is friction friction is another dissipative force resistance is dissipative in nature and these types of dissipative forces should not be there and if these conditions are satisfied then that process can be a reversible process now let us consider an example for a reversible process so i have to consider a spring i am considering a spring and some force is applied here i am applying some force so some work is done on the spring and the spring will compress i am compressing the spring very gradually applying some force and now if i remove this compression if i remove this force of compression what will happen the spring will expand so the spring will start to expand and exactly the same amount of work will be done by the spring so nerathe etra tholam work nammal ivada work cheyido athrey work spring appo namaku tirichu ingotu tharu and if the spring is elastic very 
elastic, then you will this process will be a reversible process. So these types of process are said to be reversible. Now the opposite of reversible process, and your if the process is not reversible, then that process will be irreversible process. Irreversible. All natural processes are irreversible. Irreversible in nature. Example: rusting of iron. What will happen during rusting of iron? Iron. Iron oxide I to convert to you. That conversion is a chemical change. And that is an example for a reversible process. Natural aging. Aging is a reversible process. Varying by varying conditions. It's another example for, for a irreversible process. If I mix two liquids. Then the liquids we mix it. It's an irreversible process. It's a and chemical reactions are examples. All these are irreversible process. Okay. So, another example to consider. I am taking a wire. Some current is passed through this wire. So, what will happen? Heat will be produced due to, due to joules heating. I squared RT heat will be produced. Suppose I am reversing the current direction. If you have current and direction reverse, you can produce heat and heat produce heat. You can cooling produce heat and heat. You can heat and heat. You can heat and energy. You can heat temperature. You can heat heating and temperature. So that much cooling produce heat and heat and heat reversible. But that is not possible. So that is so. Current through a wire and the case that is irreversible. So that's why I said all natural processes are irreversible process and that's about thermodynamic processes.